So it's been an interesting session and uh, I would say a lot of ground has been covered. Blockchain as a technology, you know, as uh, has been really dwelled upon today is an amazing, I would say, piece of, you know, it's the piece of the jigsaw puzzle which can actually be fit into any kind of a use case. Wonderful. Thanks to the organizers for making this, arranging this conference. It's a fantastic. A lot of learning uh, we came to know since morning. Uh, very good intake about the blockchain technologies other related technologies with the blockchain. One of the days when, you know, blockchain used to only be associated with cryptocurrency. That was unfortunately the popularity came in uh, because of something like that. But when we look at it today, it was a revelation to me, honestly. I was not aware that uh, even something like Digi Yatra today, it is such an amazing application, is using blockchain. Blockchain has got multiple uh, use cases. Uh, we are looking at land mapping being planned using blockchain. A lot of uh, discussion happened today, uh, interestingly, on uh, security for the telecom sector using, uh, you know, the blockchain technology. Uh, supply chain has got some amazing use cases using blockchain. We are looking at blockchain use cases for cybersecurity. The concept of uh, having a non-fungible token, being able to give a unique identity. There are multiple cases. Uh, instead of going into two details, let me focus two or three simple use cases of blockchain. One, the blockchain is actually uh, democratic. What our Prime Minister says, democracy, demography. Uh, blockchain actually comes in this. It's empowering everyone. Anybody using the IPv6 peer-to-peer -peer, uh, can use it. It's a platform which is uh, in a decentralized way. People can put their product over. Everybody can become an entrepreneur. They can start doing the thing. It got a different uh, scaling level itself. And it can take the world to a different level. Important takeaways, uh, I would say, at least uh, what I had spoken about was, you know, cyber security for the blockchain and blockchain for cyber security. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, some interesting questions were asked about uh, generative AI insight. You know, how does, how can generative AI or AI for that matter go hand in hand with the blockchain? So, you know, AI for blockchain and blockchain for AI. These are uh, disruptive concepts. Of course, another thing which uh, was brought up and which I think is something which needs to be addressed and uh, it needs to be addressed, I would say, by a public-private partnership is that we need more use cases of blockchain coming up. The visibility has to increase. You know, uh, something discussed inside was CX, customer experience. Today, the buzzword actually is total customer experience. You know, how can blockchain become the enabler to actually get that total customer experience? Because that is when I think, you know, this technology, I would say, would uh, really get uh, recognized and we would uh, actually uh, start uh, accruing benefits. The panel discussions were very enlightening were prepared they were answering the questions they were answering the bringing out the information about the latest technologies uh, very good learning i will uh, in, uh, recommend them that they should continue more such uh, sessions uh, so that it provides all these things Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.